This is part seven in a series of videos in which I'm attempting to repair and restore this Kromemko System 3. I've got the unit reassembled now, I've got all the covers back on, uh, I've got the floppy drives uh, refitted, um, they're working as far as I can tell, and uh, really this is just now going to be testing the system, making sure it all works. And another unit that's owned by the same person as the Kromemko is the ADM3 that I've shown in previous videos. So thought it would be a good opportunity to hook the two together and so we'll use the ADM3 DOM terminal um, to control the System 3. So we'll get these powered up, see if they come to life. I've already pre-configured the uh, ADM3 so it should work with the Kromemko. The System 3 has an auto board rate setting uh, within its uh, floppy drive controller card so it requires a, um, a few characters sent from the dumb terminal once it's been powered up. If you use the proper Kromemko um, terminal then it does that automatically but any other terminal or a PC running an emulator you need to uh, send a few characters before the Kromemko will come to life. So we'll get them powered up. We'll power up the Kromemko first. Okay, so we have the Kremenko powered up. We'll power up the dumb terminal. And wait for the terminal to come to life. Okay, so we now have the cursor showing on the terminal. And so what I'll do now is hit the return key a few times and that should boot us into our DOS in the Kremenko. If you see any flickering on the dumb terminal screen, it's not evident in real life as ever, that's just the camera uh, shutter. And so, as you can see, we are booted into RDOS, and so the next step is to insert the boot disk, so this is CDOS on this disk, into the Kremenko, and we should then be able to prompt it to boot into CDOS. So, that disk is now in, we enter B, return, and it should now boot from the floppy disk. And as you can see, we have successfully booted from the floppy disk. What I'll do now is move the camera so you can see the screen a bit better on the uh, dumb terminal. And I'll also turn off the lights, um, which will cut down the amount of flicker that we're seeing. And we'll have a quick look at the um, CDOS system. Okay, so hopefully you can see the screen fairly well, and there's a lot less flickering now. So the CDOS system is very like CPM, it's uh, quite a nice, fairly minimalistic operating system, but it does have all the features required to run a basic system. Now of course you can add to the system quite easily, um, but if we look at the basic system, we'll look to see what's on the floppy disk. So these are the basic programs it comes with. So you've got CDOS itself. You've got um, CDOS Gen, which is a very nice utility. It allows you to uh, automatically create a version of CDOS specific to a given system. So if you've got a different hardware configuration, for example, then you can tailor CDOS to exactly match it by running the CDOS Gen. And it just goes through a series of steps asking you questions about the system and then in theory it should spit out a version of CDOS that's specific to that system. You've got uh, Dump which allows you to look at the contents of uh, files. Um, XFER allows you to copy disks from one place to another, it's a bit like the XCopy in uh, DOS. Um, INIT allows you to format floppy disks. The right sys allows you to put the uh, CDOS front end boot system onto a new floppy disk. So it's a bit like formatting with the backslash S switch in DOS. Uh, and then you have uh, stats, which shows you the current status of the disk drives. Edit is a text editor, memtest allows you to run a memory test, and then basic is a version of basic. So we'll use that just as a, uh, a quick demonstration of the system. So you just uh, type in the name of the program you want to run. 
then looks on the disk to find the program and if it finds it, it should run it. it takes a while of course and here we go, we're now in BASIC version 5.4 and it's, it's just like any other version of BASIC really, it's quite a, um, a nice version, it's got some quite nice uh, features um, but I'll type in a very simple program Okay, so that's the program typed in. We'll just check to make sure that I've typed in what I intended. So you can see it's quite uh, fast as well. It's not too slow. This is set to 9,600 boards. So this is the maximum rate really that the Chromemco is going to be able to run at. And I've got the Z80 processor card set to run at four megahertz. So it's really running pretty much as fast as it's going to. Uh, we can now run the program we just entered. Needs to be the case of course. And as you can see it works just fine. Okay so that's a very very quick run through of basic uh, in this. You can see it works fine. We can see that the dumb terminal is working just fine and it's communicating nice and reliably with the Promemco system. And of course at this point, with the CDOS system running, you can run and create new programs and essentially do anything that you'd be able to do with any other type of S100 system. You can add additional cards for additional functionality, you can write your own programs and um, expand the system pretty much indefinitely. has got quite a nice text editor. And so it looks very basic and minimalistic, but it does have some quite nice editing features. And of course, what you can do is then save whatever you create as a new file and uh, save it onto a floppy disk or wherever you want. And you can do the same thing with basic, of course, because it, uh, the machine does have floppy drives. You can save the programs you create onto a floppy drive. Uh, normally you'd use the uh, second drive rather than your primary boot disk of course uh, but it all works extremely well it um, seems to have passed all the tests I've run so far so what I'll do in the next video just to close off this project is we'll try hooking the Kremenko up to the reproduction dumb terminal and see if that works as well and uh, that will be it for this project if there's anything in particular you want me to uh, demonstrate with the Chromemco then um, please leave a comment if you've had one uh, have any uh, interesting stories about the Chromemcos then uh, again please leave a comment